channel you know hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new welcome if you are returning thanks for coming back happy be i see our family is growing and welcome guys thank you so much like thank you so much thank you thank you like i really don't know what to say and i know i've been saying when the story time but i've been busy at work and i couldn't film and i was surrounded by people a lot of time and people were around me some of them they were asking me am i okay like guys thanks for doing that i am okay 100 percent. trust me i am okay like healer i page and i made up her like i'm fine now hence now i'm here talking about it and 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 and, and guys yo I, i've received the almost 120 dms on tiktok people are going through a lot and i'm trying to reply to each and everyone and what i want to say is it gets better with time it gets it does like it really does because now four years ago i was feeling exactly like that i really understand and i fully understand how you feel right now and i just want to say to each and everyone who's going through what i went through before four years ago it was so longer it will be fine it will like trust me i know everything now it doesn't make sense but one day it will make sense and yeah guys like yo tiktok your messages you young overwhelmed man. i'm so overwhelmed like your comments and yes there are those few negative comments but i always block like i don't wanna i don't wanna dwell on negativity if you are negative on my comment section i'll block you like i'm getting men at you which i don't have time like i'm very busy guys but again i love you all thank you so much for your good messages but let me stop rambling again and get straight to the point because maybe it is about that as you see by the title of this video okay i'm drinking a wine today it's saturday if you hear um background noise excuse my background noise you my background noise i'm doing my laundry so that's why i'm filming on my bedroom because if i'm filming in front you i can engage you guys and my voice it's slow i know sometimes i always think i am speaking loud but only to find out oh, oh baby girl we are mamlisha as usual but yeah guys as you see by the title of, of this video um i want to tell you guys a story time and a lot of you have been asking me to do a story time with how i found out and how i reacted i'm just gonna do this this uh story time and i don't want this video to belong um four years ago <laughs> my thing is in zoom four years ago on the second of october i went to my doctor to take injection for ibiko that year i was taking injection for Biko. why firstly i wanted to gain weight if you know me before like i've been like this like i've been slim or thin or slender or my, almost my whole life like angazan babies do i've never been big or fat or something like that like i've always been thin i think it's because my mom is like that as well and my dad i guess like i got some i come down call if i'm going to go to my oh i'm lying my grandmother was big but maybe when i'm old or when i have a baby maybe i'll be i'll gain weight i don't know only god knows but yeah guys so i was taking that injection that year and i also wanted a clear skin because i did my own research i saw that it does clean your blood blah 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 yeah well, something like that and i decided to took it um it was my data to go back and my doctor my actual doctor doctor was in there in the surgery because there are two doctors if my doctor is on leave or my doctor is off or is sick or is having his um family maybe about my life so there is a family who's a doctor and then 
I know him as well and he knows me as well he said I see on a profile last time you did your uh, HIV test was negative and it was three months back let's do it again three months is over now I said yeah cool I, like I'm clean I know myself because last time I was here my test came back negative he said okay we did the test that time I'm on my phone like um I'm not thinking anything like I'm not thinking anything I'm fine I'm happy it's a normal day and that time I was on my study study break so I was preparing to write my exam and then he said to me if would you find out that you are HIV positive who would you tell and I said my mom and mind you I'm still my phone like there's nothing that's and I like would see, hey, Vuga, there's something wrong here. Like, Papa, ma, the question was how about to so And then he said, let's do it again. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then he did it. He, 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 he hid that one, the first one. And then he, he we did the test again. He asked me the, uh, the same question again. He said, what would you do if you find out that you are hiv positive who would you tell yeah he said that who would you tell i said uh, my mom he said oh for real and then I was push her forward the kitty samsung two and there were two lines and i don't wanna lie Nga look for a few seconds because in my mind I'm like eh, two lines and then I asked him I said what does uh, two lines mean again could you please uh, remind me I want to make sure if what I'm thinking is correct and then he said you are positive and then he looked at me yo at that time I didn't know if I, I should cry or I should like uh, I loved it. I didn't know what to do and then he said okay I think we should do the layer celeb person when you we're gonna take your blood and we're gonna send it to the lab so that they can double check if because you know these kids sometimes they're not um they're not accurate I said okay yeah let's do that but I'm already yo I was hot I was sweating like yo and I didn't know what to do and then after that I was planning to go out and buy grocery I didn't buy another grocery I went straight home when I got home mind you at that time I'm stressed I'm sharing and I wanna cry how am I gonna do that uh, do that but luckily my roommate was someone who was always busy at work he, she would go to work like in the morning and then come back late and then she will sleep so she will she didn't notice anything that i was going through something and i'm so happy about that i remember at that time again we were preparing for my friend's birthday you know and then so you know this other time I think the same week because I found out when on the second and then on the weekend we were supposed to go there. I think Sino came in my room on Thursday and I found out on Tuesday, right? And then Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sino came in my room and she said to me she was going to her boyfriend. Yeah, uh, to her boyfriend, he has been there can walk, but she did she said to me yo lucy there's this uh a girl from he yo she posted a video on on youtube explaining how she found out that she's hiv positive and i'm so shocked because she's coming from a very strict family and she's a very good girl like i don't think she was sleeping around and i'm i'm wondering how she got it and in my mind i looked at her in my mind i was like did she saw something maybe in my room did i maybe forgot uh to hide my tablets 
what's happening like i was asking myself those questions and my mind was all over but after she left i quickly ran to my closet and i checked and my pills were like i used to hide my pills in my last shelf in the clothes day and then i'll go at nine or eight and take them and drink sleep yo but i didn't take my medication sometime okay i think i did because immediately my doctor said i i'll i'll suggest that you take your medication now start now and then when your results come uh come back We'll give you another one and we can talk to your parents because my mom was planning to open keep her was planning to kick me out to be medical aid and then like he he suggested that we see i must talk to my mom so that i can be able to continue and take uh, receive my medication from them i said how am i gonna tell my mom how am i gonna tell my mom but i'll make a plan so guys, yo, we are one again at Sunday Wooting Lang Lang will be all over and it's sort of something as long as I can. But yeah, what was I still saying? Oh, and then I, I used to do that, like hide my pills, it rays. Uh, so that week I was going through a lot. I was go sharing, guys. So guys, I was still saying my friend. And then I asked myself, like, how did she... Uh, why is on le, le information on Kala Yona telling me about this lady who is living with HIV and I was so sh surprised but I realized which is shame she doesn't know anything like she didn't say anything she didn't suspect, suspect anything but I think she was sent by God because I remember the same week my plan was okay um, before even these um lab results come back i just wanna write a note and i'll put it on my table study uh, on my study desk so that everyone can could see even our house mother or anyone my roommates so that they can see it what i will do is i'll wake up in the morning shower do everything eat and then drink all my arvs sleep so that i can not wake up because the side effects were so terrible guys i don't wanna lie i will sleep i will feel so dizzy every day yo bad dreams so now like a opening and i didn't like that feeling that's why i was thinking of taking my own life I said to myself, you know what, to cut myself short, to not feel this or go through this, I want peace. Let me just do this. I will just uh, lock myself up. And I think I was planning to do that on Friday because Sino came in my room on Thursday. And yo, guys, when I say Sino saved my life, after Sino told me about this lady, after she left, I went straight to Cisnos' YouTube channel and when I got there and I was like, what? And I was so motivated and I was so happy because at least there's someone other man's using because at first, I don't know, like, now I had that mindset about HIV. I would say, yo, HIV, first of all, I feel like if there was someone maybe on Shela and then and Elguti, he is HIV positive, I'm going data because of his stigma. I see corner with HIV. Nam ang nalo mindset ang ignorant. Nam ang nalo to we ang kanya din ingis sa exfeling bona because that's what I thought. And at the same time, may as in dati ko ni say yes kasi ti ula zo ng ringozi ngabona pa kung kasi niyan ula zo ng ringozi because after i found out that i'm hiv positive and learning about it doing my own research 
new phone number and I was oh man this is not a bad thing like it's not that bad like a plague guy you if you just take care of yourself we'll be fine was over right we are pila like that's what my doctor used to say to me. Not HIV. Even if you lose weight, you lose weight just because you're stressed. Or just like everyone else. But not HIV if you are taking your medication properly. And I was so motivated by that. But yo, guys, I was in okay. First of all, um, I didn't know who to tell first but i think in the same in that same week i told my then boyfriend over to hey boo i went to my doctor and then my doctor said i'm HIV positive where did i got this and then he said i don't know losanda i said could you please do me a favor eh? go to your own doctor as well and come back with your own results so that we can see who came with this uh, virus and he went to his doctor and then he came with the results Nay, he was positive and i started to question him i wanted answers i was so angry at him i was so mad i said you are so selfish how could you do that to me like yes i understand that i'm i am in a long distance relationship but i'm not doing anything in Cape Town. i'm here waiting for you and then when uh, in Debian we are busy cheating, on top of that we are cheating, you don't care about me and yourself as well because you are not using protection. That like was so mad, guys. That's when I realized that he has an abafana. Abafana. Nangiruba temp. also mad. And I remember it took time. What in him there was a stage and I'm blocking up next to him and I decided, you know what? I don't have anything that has to do with him. But man, now we are fine. Like we do talk, like we laugh about it as well. Because if I see things on quite a team, there's nothing that we're gonna do. So guys, um it wasn't quite long with team. Yo, yes, I'm beating up in Langla all over, but again, they may try to go back. Bengubi. Oh, go to Mkanama and try to success nose. After that, mind you, in the Palama exam, I have to study. I couldn't study. I wanted to commit suicide. Like, a lot was going through my mind. And I told him, what I'm not okay. If you get tell my parents what you did to me. And then he was begging me, my ears go well, and I always said, didn't like, and I was a mope, but he would take it. Good thing, you know, I'm not saying anything. There was a lot that was going on, and I said to myself, I'm not going to tell my mom over the phone because I know what my mom's of paternal. And I love my mom so much. I'm not about to do that to my mom. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to let my exam wait and go home early because before i used to uh stay after writing my exam until maybe 16 december or 20 and then i'll go home around that time but that year i finished my exam today and then the next day i flew to Deben. i took a flight flew to Deben. from Deben, i took a taxi went straight to my hotel and I got, when i got home i said to my mom mama i want to tell you something and then my mom was sure what i'm pregnant she said What's wrong? What did you do? You're pregnant. And she was okay with that. I think she was ready. Even now, I think she still is. Because Uti Ngiya Koka and Nai Ozo Dashon Inga Bunangam Zola and Vadi Gaya. That's a survey. Basically, are you pregnant? And she has been saying that Uti have gained weight. And I told her, No, I'm taking a big injection. That's why I've gained weight. I eat a lot. Because young Lambis. And then she said, what? Like, what happened? Are you pregnant? And she said, no, I'm not pregnant. I am HIV positive. Yo. When I said that to her, yo, I could see tears in her eyes. And I was so heartbroken seeing my mom like that. 
yes she didn't cry in front of me but i'm sure when she was alone in her room she cried and because first of all i came to cape town i didn't have family my mom didn't want me to come to cape town and there was a lot that was going through my mind at that time but my mom knew that i'm gonna get me with this uh, virus if it's not it's a disease I was gonna fall pregnant that's why she didn't want me to come to cape town why did i force to come to cape town i haven't even finished my studies yes like i'm still studying yo you, there was a lot that was going on through my mind at that time and i felt like i disappointed my mom and i told myself you know what if from failure that year 2019 i I'm, I'm really going to end my life because what am I doing? Or why am I still alive? I'm disappointed about Sally. I come with HIV. I'm a failure. What else? Yo, I felt like if I felt that's when nyan, 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 like I'm done with my life, like I'm done. I don't deserve to 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 to, to be alive. But again, yeah, luckily I passed and I passed so well. My marks were so good and I was so surprised with it. How come? Because I was not studying most of the time. I was crying, depressed, attending my therapist. I wasn't okay, but how come I passed? But I was happy because that's what I wanted for myself. And when I showed my mom the results, my mom was happy for me and she said, okay. At least you passed. Next year you're going to do your final year, which is 2020. I was going to do my final year. And I should say good luck. Just focus on yourself. Study. Uh this is not a death sentence. You're still gonna live longer and just try to um forgive yourself. Like yo, I didn't expect that from my mom. But I told myself, Oguti, you know what? I'm not gonna disappoint you again. I'll never, like, I feel like I've disappointed you already enough. It's fine. I forgive myself. And she asked Oguti Mubani, and then I told her. And then the guy called my mom as well. She apologized. And she asked my mom, What does my mom want? She said, Mom, no, it's fine. Uh, this is life. I'm not gonna say anything. Maybe do you know for real? It's not your fault. And yeah, that was it, guys. Like I got a full support from my family, my especially my mom. She was so so supported, and then she said to me, "I was supposed to take you out of my medical aid, but since now there's this problem, I am not going to take you out up until you are sorted." Like don't fall pregnant if you fall pregnant i'm just gonna remove you and put your your baby your child or in your on my medical aid i said okay i'm just gonna keep my promise to you i'm not gonna disappoint you again and i'm trying to do that now guys like i'm feeling next to my mom I'm going to go. I, I don't want anything i don't want to hurt my mom i don't want to do anything Bad to my mom. I always try my own means to make sure that she's happy because I feel like that woman she has been through a lot. So manga be stress, manga be happiness yaki, manga be happy place yaki, manga be peace yaki. You understand? But okay, guys, yeah, and that's it. If you've got more questions, just ask on the comment section. I feel like I can summarize the rest of the story. And then what else? What else? Just okay. Just comment and ask, and then I'll do another story time. And I feel like I should do a story time as soon as people ask because uh, I don't forget. I just still remember. Oh, this is what happened, and then I'll tell the story. If I take time, oh, I forget. And business news and oh i have to put my mind back again so that i can tell the story but see this is what happened happened happen, and i'm trying to not skip and also i'm not trying to make this video long 
ni enda pen porega but okay guys yeah that's it for from my side don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys chill